Finding your perfect drumstick model is essential for your playing feel and sound. Here's our ultimate drumstick guide. Art of Drumming is not just a YouTube channel, but also a free platform where you can find numerous drum-related courses filmed by major international artists. Head on over and join our growing community! Drumsticks are the connection between a drummer and their instrument. If this connection doesn't work perfectly, it will hinder your playing and change your sound. When trying to find your perfect drumstick model, it helps to know some basic facts about the topic itself. So let's get started and take a look at the different parts of a drumstick. Throughout this video, we'll take a look at different factors that determine the feel and sound of a drumstick. But first, we have to set up some basic terminology. A drumstick can be divided into four parts. The tip, the shoulder, the shaft, and the butt. The tip is the front end of your stick, designed to hit the drum heads and cymbals. There are different shapes and materials, but more on that later. The second part, basically called the shoulder of the stick, can be divided into three zones. The neck, directly connecting the tip with the rest of the stick, and usually the thinnest part, the shoulder, where the drumstick reaches its final diameter, and the taper, the part between the shoulder and the neck, where the drumstick narrows down towards the tip. The third part, and usually the biggest section, is the shaft, also known as the body. The stick has a constant diameter in this section. The fourth and last part is the butt. Before we go into detail about some of these topics, let's look at the most obvious differences between different stick models. Thickness and length. When you look at standard drumstick models like a 2B or a 5B stick, the number indicates the thickness of the stick. In general, you can state that a lower number stands for a larger diameter. So while a 7A stick is pretty thin, a 1B model is quite massive. The thickness not only changes the size, but also the weight of a stick. While the playing field changes drastically, you'll also notice a change in sound. A thinner, lighter stick is capable of softer playing while a thick and heavy stick enables loud and powerful drumming. Durability also increases with a thicker stick. Here's a short demo of one of the thinnest sticks Vic Firth offers, the AJ5, versus one of their thickest models, the Thomas Lang Signature Model. The difference in sound becomes even more clear if you listen to both models on a ride cymbal. The thickness of the stick also has a huge impact on the rim click sound. Length is also a decisive factor. While the length itself doesn't influence the sound as much as the thickness of the stick, it changes the playing feel completely. The balance point shifts and your options of grip positions become bigger with a longer stick. When grabbing the stick close to the butt end, you'll have the largest range and that gives you extended dynamic possibilities. Grabbing the stick further in the front enables a softer touch. Most drumstick companies also offer elongated versions of their standard models. With Vic Firth, you get a 5B stick in the longer 5B Extreme or the even longer 5B Freestyle version. While thickness and length changes the shape of the whole stick, we'll stick with 5B models for this one and the only thing that changes are the tips. There are three main tip shapes that you'll find with all drumstick companies. The standard teardrop tip, barrel tips and round tips. While you won't notice that much of a difference on the kit, the ride cymbal sound changes a lot. 
Here are all three 5B models played on the same ride symbol. Here is how the different tip shapes affect the snare sound. Besides the shape of the tip, there are also models with other tip materials. The most common are nylon tips. They promise a longer durability than wooden ones and definitely create a different sound. Once again, here's a standard 5B stick versus the 5B nylon tip version on a right symbol. Once again, here's how the different tip materials change the snare sound. The tip alone changes the sound a lot. Also, a different tip shape will change the playing feel. A smaller tip will respond very different to a large one. But keep in mind that especially small and round tips tend to damage your drumhead when hitting hard. The force is concentrated on a very small spot and might leave dents in your drumheads. When talking about the general shape of a stick, you will mainly discuss the length of the taper. A stick with a short taper features a long shaft and is usually pretty top heavy, while a stick model with a longer taper, meaning a longer part of the stick with a reduced diameter, has the opposite characteristic and is more back heavy. Having more weight in the front will enable loud and hard hitting, giving you the extra weight to bury into your drum heads and cymbals. A more back heavy stick with a long thin taper gives you more control and enables soft and low volume playing. To give you an idea on how this changes not just the playing feel, but also the sound, here is a regular 5B stick compared with an AJ1 stick, which has the same diameter and length, but an elongated taper. To make the sound difference even more clear, here are the standard 5B and the AJ1 on a ride cymbal. Another factor that is often overlooked is the material of the drumstick itself. While the standard wood type for drumsticks is hickory, the second most common one is maple. Maple is around 10% lighter than hickory and enables you to use thicker sticks without having to deal with extra weight. Also, the different density has an impact on the sound. Here's a standard 5B versus the American Heritage version made of rock maple. Other companies offer sticks made of more materials, like aluminum or carbon fiber. Every material has its own feel and sound, so if you don't feel fully comfortable with hickory, this might be something to look into. Even if you stay with hickory sticks, different finishes can change the feel of your sticks completely. Besides the usual one, most companies offer finishes that enhance the grip of your stick. For some people, nude models without any lacquer work best, 
while others like solutions like the more sticky Vic Grip better. Also color finishes like the white coating of the Thomas Lang signature model change the feel of the stick a lot. They all react differently to sweaty hands. The sound won't change at all, but your playing feel definitely will. Finding your perfect stick model is a highly individual process. Every drummer has different preferences, and due to your individual playing style and technique, you'll look for certain characteristics regarding your sticks. Also, the music you play will change which sticks work best in different scenarios. Some drummers like to go with one single stick model for all musical situations, while others always carry multiple models and switch between thinner and thicker sticks, depending on the music. Whether you prefer one or the other way, it is definitely worth the effort to experiment with different models and experience what a completely different stick design does to your playing. What are your favorite drumsticks? And do you use multiple models for different scenarios? Let us know about your experience in the comments, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe to our channel for more.